All right, guys. Welcome back to another pod. Today we've got, of course, me, Dragon Hunter, and the co-founder of Portal Master Studios. Portal Master himself. Exactly. And I say co-founder, but he actually started the channel. I just sort of merged with him. But well, that's the real question the is, is if you start like a company, right? And then like three weeks later, someone else joins and takes 50% of like everything or like all the work and everything. Did they co-found? Because like pretty much. That, that would be a, an ar- a correct argument if I took 50% of the work. But I didn't because <laughs> Portal, there's so much stuff behind the scenes. I may put out some content, but it is oh, nothing compared to all the effort Portal's put into this channel. Dragon definitely undersells himself. Well, that's my motto. <laughs> We're going to be looking, especially at this pod and, of course, all the news and links, but also how to save money and kind of tips and tricks to get the best out of your purchases with Lego. We got a way good um, trick to kind of buy minifigures from sets from Lego themselves without actually buying the set for like $2 a fig, which is cheaper than CMS. So definitely stay tuned that, for that. Yeah, that sounds pretty awesome. I know there are definitely sets where I, I want to get only the minifigures out of the set, and it's kind of disappointing, especially I know the Legacy sets with uh, the new collectible golden figures. If you don't want to get like a set because you don't like the legacy, but you still need to get the minifigure, boy, have we got some tricks for you. Stay tuned. That'll be in about the middle of the pod. But we're going to start first with um, the leaks of this week. So we got some, some interesting stuff. I guess we'll start with the most boring and then kind of work our way up. We got another lightsaber gift with purchase. This one is Luke Skywalker's. And it looks just like you'd expect. I think actually having like the lightsaber part of the lightsaber would um would really help these sets but uh what are your thoughts on these so it's basically just a lightsaber handle there's not really much you can do with that i mean i don't know i guess yeah it's just another lightsaber handle i don't know yeah i supposedly this one might be an actual set i just feel like i haven't seen anyone who is excited about any of any of these they're just bland i hate to say it yeah, because like part of the flavor of the lightsaber is not just how the handle looks. Don't get me wrong, it adds uniqueness, but there's color, there's style, and then there's also just overall how the person uses it that makes it more distinct. And then when you boil it all down to one aspect of like a multifaceted collectible item, it is definitely boring. I agree. I think if you're going to do an item from Star Wars, I think the blasters, honestly, would be pretty cool. Because we have, like, the Stormtrooper helmet. It'd be cool to have, like, a Stormtrooper blaster next to that. Same with, like, Boba Fett and stuff. Yeah, something matchable that you can put near them that sort of continuity-wise pulls up. Because oh, yeah, I, I know, obviously, we don't want any collectible faces because I can't imagine them trying to do that. I remember the old Star Wars collectible, like, busts. They were terrifying. They they were pretty scary. Maybe just like a, a masked like hooded figure where you can't see their face, but I don't I can't think of a good way to do that. Yeah. Just Obi-Wan Kenobi's hood, Luke Skywalker's hood, Anakin's hood. Just give us all the hoods. <laughs> I'd pay sixty dollars for that. Definitely not. Yeah, I know I wouldn't. <laughs> I'd get, you'd probably get that idea. collectible aspect of it but i don't know <laughs> they could be slightly different versions of brown imagine that dark brown light brown a mix of both oh no <laughs> what are you saying you're gonna give them ideas oh man if this comes out i want my 10 percent. that's all i'm saying you might as well tell them to make and just make another x-wing that has very visible very minimal changes to the original design or maybe resell the lego death star but only change the minifigures well i love the death stars man everyone i know has collected every one because that's what people do <laughs> but imagine having all both of them means that you just get new minifigures that's you're not true. getting a new build you know what would be really cool is a death star and they add like a hundred dollars so it can actually have a removable shell on the outside so it looks like the death star that would be pretty cool. I'm, it'd just be like plates on ball joints. Couldn't be that much more expensive. I feel like if we're going to get a Death Star every couple of years, give us that once at least. 
Because, like, that's something that would look amazing on a display piece. Try to hang it with some fish wire. Drop it. Drop it. Sadness. <laughs> I'm just imagining that scene from Spider-Man where, like, Ned drops the Death Star. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Supposedly, that, that was multiple it. takes. And they just had one guy they hired to build the Lego Death Star, some intern. I don't know if that sounds like a fun job or a terrible job. Because your entire purpose of your work... <laughs> to be destroyed but also you get to be build the lego death star without any cost i like to imagine it as like this intern was like oh cool i get to build the lego death star for like a set display and then like he's watching the scene where like ned picks it up and then they just drop it and then they're like cut we got to do that again where's the intern (laughs) and it's just like a look of horror on his face so you know that thing where you pour all the bags together oh no (laughs) Because they have the pieces attached to them already, yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't think about that. With, like, partially built sections is the worst. It's worse than building it with a normal one. Because the feeling of being dead inside and the adding insult to injury, when you have to take apart a section because you already used the parts to build the section that you now have to take apart because it, was, it wasn't <laughs> fully broken, that hurts, man. I love, too, that, like, Spider-Man was talking about building it with Ned at the start of the movie. And then, like, the next time we see Ned, he's built it all. <laughs> he deserved to drop it, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Goes and do them all himself. That's really um, the moral of that story. No, it's not. Moving on, we got um, this cool minifigure leaked. I think it's from the upcoming CMF, which is unlicensed. It's some kind of rock star with, like, a blue boomerang painted onto her face, a skeleton shirt. A pink jacket with zippers on it. There's like a lightning bolt scar or a scratch on her like white pants. I love, I love this figure. Very you happy sure with it. Song, ripped jeans and I, I can guess the face paint. But she's a Lego minifigure. She has yellow skin. I think that's ripped jeans. Oh shoot, that's a good point. Yeah, it's probably ripped jeans. Dragon has a point there. Yeah, it's it's most definitely ripped jeans. It, it throws you off because you don't expect the rip of the jeans to be, like, yellow, but also Lego. But you know what? If you took it and put it on, like, a different flesh-colored figure, it could be, like, a decal or something. So it has, like, two uses in one. Ooh, that is pretty smart. Portal claps back. Oh. I also love the belt printing. It's quite unique. It's just, like, I don't know. I, I love that shiny silver color that's reflective. On the other side, though, I think in the like the last four CMFs, we had had some rock band person, so that's kind of getting old. But um, this is a cool figure. This is a cool figure. Any thoughts on a dragon? No, well, not really. It's a decent figure. I'm excited to see the rest of the CMF over a slow month of leaks. Yeah, supposedly this CMF doesn't come out until, like, next year. So we got this, like, way early, and this is a nice quality image that no Lego one can see except from us. Off the but, game. Yeah, Legos, that new um, person they hired is obviously not working. The intern getting revenge for dropping the Death Star. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> revenge of the intern. And then I think the only leak we have, other than those two, is this... um. I think it's a car with wings. It's like a three-in-one gift with purchase build. It's quite bizarre. There's a lot of colors. It's a pixelated image, but I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, that is a hard one to read. It might be... There's no way. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. I don't think that's the type. It's an old movie. Yeah, that is a weird one, especially, like, the colors in the bags don't seem to match up with the actual uh, set. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It looks like cool pieces, though, on the flip side. Quite bizarre. Some of these are just so pixelated, it's really hard to make anything out of them, honestly. But, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all my thoughts on the leaks. Want to move over to text leaks slash rumors? Sure. 
Okay. I mean, there's a bunch of like set names and set numbers. We're not really going to go over them because they're pretty easy to fake. And I don't feel like a podcast of an hour of me and Dragon reading numbers is going to be that interesting. But we do have a rumored uh, Technic Batmobile for $100, which I think is interesting. I think if it drives itself, that'd be pretty cool. I wonder which Batmobile it'll be, though. Oh, any specific one you'd love to see? I think I a driven Batmobile would be interesting having that remote control, but I think we've seen that before with a previous tumbler that was uh, Oh, remote. and that thing totally flopped. Yeah, it was not very good because it was just like this bland tumbler. Its only draw was the fact that it was a remote control. You're right. Okay, well. Oh, well. In more exciting news, though, there will be four CMF series in 2022. <laughs> we know one of those will be um, the Muppets, and we know we'll have an unlicensed CMF series, I think 16 or 25, whatever they're on. The other two, we don't know for sure. It could be a Marvel CMF. Um, that's all I can think of. Anything you'd like to see, Dragon? No, I've. it's always been tough for me to get into CMFs because I could never get the figures that I was looking for. I only got them on occasions. Ah. Uh, my uh, store just set up in the back. They have like a whole feeling station now where they have like a whole table set up where they're like sorted out and stuff, which has been awesome. Wait, they're just sorted out into the... The ones yeah. they think that are? Yeah. Yeah, just sort it out sitting on the table. Dead serious. <laughs> that is interesting. Yeah, I don't know if like some guy just came and sorted them or like the Lego employees did, but it's it's been pretty nice. I just went over, I'm like, oh I want a zombie Captain America. There we go. I want a, I want a winter soldier. There we go. And just kind of picked them out. Is that's how they should always have them. That was like the best ever. But uh, four CMFs is going to be a lot. I'm hoping they're smaller, because otherwise that's just... I mean, if they're both like 16 each, or all four of them at $5 a fig, that's like, what, $400, $500 of just minifigures that year, which is insane. Uh, but yeah. We also got some Spider-Man news. Supposedly we'll get a female Doc Ock from Into the Spider-Verse. A uh, Lego Junior's Rhino, which could be interesting. And Lego is supposedly going to make a variety of Lego themes focused on diversity and inclusion in the future, like the Everyone is Awesome set, which I think is pretty cool. And that's about all for the rumors. Oh, all no. Right. I missed, wait, oh, hold oh. up. I missed, I missed the one big rumor that everyone's excited for. We do know what the three Batman sets are going to be. We're going to have a $70 Batman Batcave from the upcoming movie. We're going to have a $40 Batmobile chase. And we're going to have a $15 bike chase. The bike chase will have Batman and Catwoman. The Batmobile chase will have Bat, Jim, Gordon, and Penguin. And the, uh, the Batcave will have Batman, Bruce, Wayne, Alfred, and the Riddler. So should be some awesome sets. I'm kind of excited for a cheaper Batcave. Hopefully it has less oversized vehicles. But uh, yeah, now we can transition, Dragon. <laughs> My bad, totally forgot about those. Great, what are we transitioning into this time? Should we go to the um, the Lego money tips, as I'm going to call it, I, I guess. So. All right. So I think we've talked about on the podcast a lot how pretty much if you're going to buy Lego, you should go from the Lego store, whether that's shop at home, or the actual physical store, and try to buy either when there's double VIP points, some kind of clearance, or the best, which is gift with purchases, because you either get a bonus set, or you can sell it on eBay often for $100 plus. dollars. But um, we have an interesting kind of thing for specific minifigures or pieces, which we've talked about before, but there's been a new update to it, and it's called Bricks and Pieces, that has really made it better than ever. I'll let Dragon kind of explain how the site works. So originally, Bricks and Pieces was a service that Legos had in order to replace either missing or broken pieces in your set. Uh, and I know a lot of people simply use it as a way to buy the pieces they wanted instead. And so Lego just instead of uh, sort of not allowing people to do that, they simply made a different set and made the, uh, the missing or broken pieces a priority version during like the holidays and you wouldn't be able to buy pieces then. But 
they had another service where you could just straight up buy any pieces from Lego sets. You put the number in of the set, and then it pulled up an entire list of pieces that they were able to sell. And a lot of the times they excluded custom minifigure pieces. Sometimes there were prints that they excluded, that type of stuff. A lot of stuff. But if it had been in a set multiple times before, it was almost guaranteed that it would be there. And while pieces would go out of stock, Lego also regularly stocked this website. And so it was one of the great ways of getting pieces. I know I used it once or twice myself uh, before I realized how much money I poured into it because I could get literally all the pieces I wanted. But, you know, Lego isn't cheap. It's I'll not. It back to the portal. Yeah. So for the tips. Yeah. So with this new update, Bricks and Pieces just rolled out. Any what they used to do is like a piece would have to be used multiple times, so you didn't really get any exclusive minifigures, especially license and stuff like that. What they just rolled out a couple months ago, and I didn't know until I think two days ago. I literally spam dragging with maybe like fifty messages. I kept taking pictures, like, "Oh, look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Oh my gosh!" I had three hundred dollars in my cart when I was done. I was like, "Okay, um, that's not happening." But uh, yeah, I can attest to this. <laughs> there's a lot of cool stuff. I'd only went through like a couple of sets too. What they did now is if a piece appears on a set, there is a good chance, even if it's only appeared once, that it will be in bricks and pieces. So the first set I kind of looked up was the Everyone is Awesome set. And all of those cool hair pieces with the cool new colors are like, and the full monochrome figures are all in this. So if you want like just a monochrome pink figure or just a monochrome lime green figure, you can get them for like, a dollar fifty on bricks and pieces, and that is including the hair piece, which I think is pretty insane. And remember, it's Lego.com, so anything more than thirty-five dollars, and you get free shipping. And otherwise, shipping is also pretty cheap. They also added the power pack accessories, including the new light pink from Thanos. They have really cool, like printed eggs with dragons kind of popping out, and then they have some really cool hats and stuff. They have the alcohol piece, which is always weird to get. But here's the big thing, is they now have licensed figures. So if you're like a Stranger Things fan and you want to get L the minifigure, but don't have $200 for a set, you can literally go on Bricks and Pieces, type in the set ID of the, the Stranger Things set, and the whole L minifigure is there. It's, it's pretty insane. It feels really weird. I think it came out to like $1.30 to get the L minifigure, which is way cheaper than eBay or Bricklink for a $200 set. And then this gets even better because if you're collecting Harry Potter or the Ninjago Legacy sets right now, and I'm sure you've seen the golden figures, they also have most of the golden figures just on here. Like the whole golden figure plus the minifigure stand, which I think is pretty insane. I'll let Dragon talk about this for a moment, but there's just, there's so much cool stuff. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm curious to see how this business decision will affect them because on one hand, uh, allowing people to get exactly what they're looking for is definitely a motivator for people to spend more on Legos. Like, you might not think it, but there's definitely a lot of sets where there's only specific parts that I want to buy. And, I mean, hey, some business of me buying just a small part of the set is better than me just thinking, oh, dang, I'm not going to be able to get that piece. But, on the other hand, that is a double-edged sword because some people will buy sets only for the minifigures. So, let's say... Uh, Jeff wants to buy Wanda or something, some exclusive minifigure that's only in like a fifty dollars set. All of a sudden, Lego has lost this fifty dollars sale to like five bucks. And while that might be good, uh, it may be bad. It might increase sales with army building type stuff where you can get the same minifigure over and over again. It might also be not so good, and they'll stop it after a while just because it drives down their sales. We'll find out. I totally agree. And I do want to note at the moment, the only sets that Lego never include on Bricks and Pieces is the CMF series. Everything else is fair game. There's some pieces that aren't on there and stuff sells out a lot. But like Dragon's saying, anything is fair game. So me and Dragon, I know, were like, uh, I think it was like two months ago now. Remember when the wildlife sets were announced with the elephants and the lions and everything? Yeah. Well, I know we were, like, freaking out about how cool all that stuff is. Bricks and Pieces has the elephant, the baby elephant, the lion, the baby lion, the white lion, the vulture. They have everything on there right now. It's all in stock as of recording this video. They're expensive. They're, like, $4 to $7 for, like, the whole molded thing, which obviously is expensive, but it's way cheaper than buying a $100 set. Exactly. um, That's going to be super good for future purchases. 
Yeah, so I added like 10 lions to my cart, and I think you can quickly see why I got to a couple hundred dollars. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but I think I am going to kind of... Make an entire lion's pride, and then he realized that his pride was not big enough to buy that much Lego. No, it was not. And I'm looking at this, and it's like, man, I kind of want to like just get a bunch of cool minifigures from this, which I might end up doing, I'm not going to lie. Because part of it's like, oh, well, like... If you're at like twenty five dollars, like why not get ten more ten dollars worth of pieces to bump it up to that free shipping? So it's like, it's very addicting scrolling through sets and just adding any pieces you want, and then you go to checkout and it's like, uh, your total bill will be four million dollars three thousand seven hundred sixty two cents, and it's like, oh my gosh. After all, why shouldn't I keep another lion? <laughs> Yes, exactly. I want an army of lions. And I'm thinking maybe just slowly, every time I buy something from Lego, I buy like one lion and just slowly build it up. So like, oh, I was going to buy a $40 set. It's now a $45 set and I get a lion and just slowly build up a lion army. <laughs> Portals like Andy <laughs> and Parks and Rex where he trades all his stuff for every other nation's tigers. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing, but if it's who can get the most tigers, I'm winning. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome just a giant army of lions i could get like the lion minifigure to ride them to like the cowardly lion with swords and stuff oh man oh, i might have to do that i might have to do that or it'll it's just slow convincing himself into this it's it's so tempting too it's like oh it's all right there it's right on your fingertips there's so many things they have the monochrome figures right now which I absolutely love. Some of the stuff is really expensive. Most of it is ridiculously cheap. I'm not going to lie. Like, I mean, I was looking at like the new hair pieces, like the new colors for them and from the Everyone is Awesome set. And you're talking like 30 cents, 10 cents, 8 cents. A lot of the weapons are less than a dime. I mean, it, it's really, it pulls you in and then you have added 100 million pieces to your cart, but it pulls you in really quickly. So you guys just look up bricks and pieces. And go to uh, buy pe buy bricks. It's it's definitely an amazing site, and we're talking about obviously spending money on it, but it could you be used to help um save money. But uh, that's all my thoughts on it. Any final thought, Dragon? Oh, I just revised my earlier statement about it might be like a bad uh, decision financially, uh, and then I realized how many lions the portal is going to be buying, and he's easily going to make up the loss. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. Fully myself in the next year, I'm going to fully support Bricks and Pieces by buying Lions. I'll, yeah. Yeah. What have I done? <laughs> what am I doing with my life? Buying Lego Lions. Living the dream. <laughs> are you living the dream or are you lying to yourself? I am or in severe credit like card debt, Dragon. Severe. Severe. You think I'm not? <laughs> Oh, man. Oh. On that note. <laughs> oh, man. Should we move into our next segment? Absolutely. I have no idea what it is, so I'll have you introduce it. Well, it was going to be the true lies, two lies and a truth, but I did realize we kind of skipped over news. So, oh, dang. What news did we skip over? There was almost nothing. I have one very small piece of news that I'd like to say. Which is in the new Lego Mario set, the worst set of all time, they added a clear lightsaber bar with no bubbles in it, which is Ooh, really cool to see. That. Yeah, here, because I'll send you a picture. It's amazing. I don't, I don't think we've ever seen a transparent bar that does not have a bubble in it. Nope, this is brand new. It is, it is so cool. This would be so perfect for Ahsoka, by the way. But these things are like, they are really cool. It's um, a horrible image because it's taken on a solid white background, so you can barely make it out. But it looks very cool. I'm very excited for it. Exactly. It's amazing. And then, oh, there is one more piece of news. The Bricktober sets were released or announced, and they are a book with, like, a story on it. I think we got Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, what's the one with, the, like, the beans, beans, um, like, the, and then it grows the giant plant. Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack and the Beanstalk. We got the um the evil witch who eats children. What is that one called? Hansel and Gretel. Yes, and then the one with the weird cat at the dinner table. Um, there's like a pit that they fall into. There's like a, a girl. What's her name? Um, 
I have never heard that one before. Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. I feel like you <laughs> very badly summarized that movie. Like, <laughs> the, literally, the Mad Hatter is so much more iconic than that cat, and they fell into a hole. Like, <laughs> I'm surprised you got three out of four of those, honestly. I don't know if this is, this segment is just Portal badly describing movies for Dragon to guess, but my <laughs> goodness. That Three for four was pretty good with that. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Yeah, so, um, yeah, clearly Dragon knows his stuff better than I do. But these are really cool as a set. They have little micro figures on them. Uh, hopefully they're good with purchases, because, I don't know. Me personally, they're not, like, set worthy. But um, maybe that's because I can't figure out what movies they're from, because I'm very bad at this stuff. <laughs> Which is ironic, because Portal is trying to go into the film industry. I love movie. movies. The problem is, I watch a lot, so they all kind of blend together. Like, like I watch a lot. Man, I was looking at my watch list, and I was like, oh my gosh, when did I watch all this stuff? I can't even remember half of it. There's just, yeah. Yeah. You know what's the problem is, you watch all the good movies, and then it's like, time to watch the bad movies. And the bad movies are not good. They're really not... I watched this, like, one movie. Oh, I told you about it. Anyway, bad movies are not fun to watch. But, um, yeah. Any other news you got, Dragon? I'm out. There wasn't a lot this week. No, not really. Yeah, so should we move on to the two lies and the truth? I would say so. Uh, this All right. Segment, this segment, actually, Dragon came more prepared than Portal for some reason. Uh, so, uh, either Portal will have to come up with some... Uh, more personal Lego facts, or I will simply stump him with mine. So my first one is, what color brick am I thinking of right now? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, well, <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. Okay, I want to do another one. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> what kind of brick? What kind of brick? Uh, two by four. Oh, two by two. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> oh my well, gosh. Dragon's reading my mind from across the country. Not really fair. Oh it my is my gosh. Super job. That was perfect. People are going to think that's staged. But, like, legit, I had a red brick in my mind. That was pretty insane. It was so good that I thought it was staged. <laughs> I literally cannot beat Dragon, man. He's al he always has the upper hand. I'll let Dragon go first with this, I guess. Switch it All around. Right. Well, my three are... The most recent Lego set that I have bought is mm. the A0028, The Bone Demon. The first oh, Lego stop motion I ever did was about a war because someone cut down a tree. And we're off the third one. Where is it? Oh, Scatterbrain. Scatterbrain? Oh, oh, you have a Scatterbrain, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was like, um... Uh, oh! In a tragic accident, one of my friends dropped my entire... Con or not my friend. One of my... Not my friend anymore. Dad. He's no, dead no, to me. No. <laughs> dad dropped my entire container or portable container of Legos down the stairs. And it took me two and a half hours to rebuild all of it. Okay, I know that third one's true. It was Ultra Agents, and Dragon literally has not stopped talking about it because it was, like, the most devastating moment ever, man. We were all watching it fall in slow motion, and then it turned out, like, most of them didn't break because it was Ultra Agents, which is really impressive. It was, like, a whole flight of stairs, man. He felt so bad, too. It was, it was like, a whole thing. It was, like, as we were leaving, too. That was crazy. I know that one's true. The second That's one I... <laughs> The second one I know is true, but I can't remember if it was technically your first or second stop motion. And the third one, I know we streamed that set together, but you recently told me you were thinking about getting another set. And I don't know if you've gotten it yet or not. Oh, man. I'm going to go with the first one. Is uh, Wait, wait. It's two lies and one truth? Two lies or and one truth, yes. Two of these are lies? Two of them are lies. Oh my, here I am thinking they're all the truth. Oh, two of these are lies. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. The third one's the truth. That's the one you think is the truth? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, the second one is the truth. No, you see. I watched the third one happen. Yes, 
but it did not take me two hours. They were ultra agent set. So it took me 15 minutes and I was able to do it before I even left. To oh fix my gosh. The no, no. Oh my God. I feel like I left. Oh man. Oh, uh, I will give you a second. I will. Well, I'll give you half points if you can figure out which one is the truth. It's a 50, 50 shot. This time. The second one's the truth. Yes. Yes. The let's go. Undefeatable. Nothing can stop me. Let's go. You Except from really that first one. <laughs> and the first one I ever did to you as well. Uh, the, uh, rather, I streamed this one. You remember? Yeah, the I remember doing it together. The latest set I bought was the Hydro Bounty. We streamed together. Oh, we I streamed the Hydro Bounty, not the Bone Lady. The Bone Lady was the stream before that. My yes, memory it sucks. I made the thumbnail for that thing. You think I'd remember? I was just looking at the statistics this morning too. I was like, "Oh my gosh, that thing runs really well." Yes. While I may have dabbled in slight techniques in stop motion films, the first film I officially did was with Portal Master. Uh, we hung out at my house, and the inciting incident of this was the Lego Chima Tree of Life was cut down, and it is one of the worst stop motions I have made to this day. Yeah, we've definitely gotten better from that point. I remember thinking it was so good at the time, though. I mean, it was pretty good in our eyes, in the yeah. Lego, official LEGO Stop Motion app. That's it true. Absolutely nothing, yet we still managed to film three quarters of the entire movie on it. Remember trying to get like that clap feature to work that one time where we were like, oh my and then we goodness. couldn't get it, and then like someone would place a brick mid-recording, and then it'd like, take a picture? Uh, uh, <laughs> why was it so difficult? Oh, man. Okay, I got three for Dragon. I got three right. for Dragon. Um, yeah, Dragon made them personal. I'll make them personal. Guys, Portal Pod, episode 16, it's getting personal. Unless this is episode 17. <laughs> episode 16, it's getting personal. Oh, oh, let's think. Let's think. I... Okay, the first, wait, two lies and one truth, right? Two lies and one truth. Okay, the first one is I have more Batman figures, in, individual ones, like unique Batman figures, than Spider-Man figures. The second one is I have not bought a CMF figure since they turned $5. And the third one, the third one, is, two lies and a truth? Two lies and truth. The third one is that I have dropped. Nope. The third one is I have. The third one is the most recent set I have built was. No, the third one, I don't even remember the first two. Hold on, give me a moment. Give me a moment. <laughs> I'm struggling here. The third one is the most recent stop motion I did was the stop motion we made while it was out there. The, um, the Harry Potter Hogwarts one. Well, I know that the over $5 is a lie because you just literally talked about buying them from your Lego store. Shoot, I wasn't sure if I said that in my head or not. You Dang definitely it. didn't say it in your head. Oh, man. What was the first one again? It was something about... Uh, oh, yeah, more Spider-Mans than Batmans. No, I more Batman than Spider-Man. More Batman than Spider-Man, and I think that's a lie. Because your entire recent Instagram posting have been unique Spider-Man figures. I'm such a big Batman fan, though. You gotta consider that. I think the third one is the truth, because it took you so long to think about it. Because you had to find a truth <laughs> that... Doesn't sound like it was believable. So I think that the third one is true, even though I don't even remember which one it is. Yeah, that third one's true. Dang it. What was it again? It was... The last stop motion I did was the one I did when I was out there. The Hogwarts one, which we have not posted yet. I was thinking about, like, shorts. But no, I don't think we've really done stop motions in a while. I've not. I've been working on Blender. So I gotta send you over those files, by the way. Yeah, we need to finish that film and put them out. Yeah, for real. 
Um, dang it. That is true. Even though I'm a big Batman fan, Batman <laughs> does not get a lot of unique figures anymore. So I actually have more Spider-Man somehow, which is bizarre. But um, dang it. All right. Well, I'm Owen two. To, I, technically, I'm Owen three today because Dragon was able to guess what color I was thinking of, which is <laughs> bizarre to me. But um, we're just gonna ignore the fact that Dragon has superpowers from across the country. So, yeah, Dragon wins again. All right. Well, we'll have to get the fans to get a running tally on that because I I can't even remember how many times I've stumped you. Man. Well, with the whole money segment and stuff, we are doing quite good on the time with the pod. So I'm gonna say. That's it. Uh, as always, Portal knows everything that I already knew, so I would say <laughs> that your knowledge overshadows mine and covers everything I had to say. Yeah, we go over the same list, except for I also have a side list. So, I mean, I'm literally taking stuff from Dragons. I don't know why I do that. Anyway, though, uh, check out our Discord link in the description. Also, the portal at the Real Portal Pod is our Instagram. Um, at our Discord, we do a bunch of cool stuff, including talking about leaks, talking about movies, uh, showing off people's mocks, looking at stop motions and all that. And thank you guys for coming. See you guys next Wednesday. Oh, and we're on Spotify now. Oh, yeah. Go check us out on Spotify. Yes.